It's day one, the fun just begun. Things have started to heat up as Mike Tyson has leaked more sparring and training footage for Jake Paul. And as expected, Paul seems to be panicking after seeing the power and speed of Tyson, especially at the age of 57. Ah! And from there, I On the other hand, at the core of the latest segment on the Mayweather channel, Jeff Mayweather stirred up intrigue by posing a captivating question to the fighters honing their skills in his gym. In the impending bout between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, who do you favor? This inquiry ignited a flurry of candid and perceptive reactions, notably from Fernando Vargas, Kurmil Moton, and Amado Vargas, each offering their distinct perspective on the consequential clash. Fernando Vargas passionately asserted the timeless dominance of Tyson, underlining his unwavering conviction. He said, man, Mike got a one-hitter quitter power forever till he passes away. So I think that Mike still got it. So we always have that power. The last thing to go for us fighters. Vargas highlighted Tyson's legendary knockout capability, suggesting that Jake Paul, despite his accomplishments, is unprepared for the ferocity Tyson brings to the ring. He added, at the end of the day, I think that Mike is still relevant when it comes to, you know, him putting on the show and being able to knock a dude out. Mike Tyson got that power that he's never ever felt in his life ever felt. Kermel Moten sentiment was a mixture of optimism and practicality, as he eagerly rooted for a Tyson triumph while harboring doubts about the authenticity of the match. I want Mike to knock Jake Paul out, Moton stated, reflecting a sense of respect for the boxing traditions that Tyson embodies. He critiqued Jake Paul's approach, saying, he's challenging these retired fighters, this like the first real boxer he really fought. Moton's stance reveals a mix of anticipation and concern, suggesting that if Tyson is to triumph, it has to be early though, like one or first or second round. Shifting focus to Amado Vargas, a new perspective emerges regarding the wider significance of the match. Amado views the event within the context of modern boxing's progression, where the allure of entertainment frequently contends with the essence of true competition. I think it's a money fight, let them make their money, he remarked. Despite any reservations, Amato admitted, I still would see that just because Mike Tyson's a legend. I want Mike, I'm rooting for Mike. His perspective embodies a generational outlook, acknowledging the bout as an integral facet of the evolving realm of boxing. In this domain where tradition and commercial gains coalesce, despite its unconventional nature, it presents a spectacle too captivating to forego. Meanwhile, you'd best keep your eyes wide open if Mike Tyson throws a punch at Jake Paul, because Chuck Liddell is confident that if Tyson lands one of his powerful haymakers, a knockout is certain. He said, as soon as Tyson hits him, it's over. Liddell was straightforward in expressing his views on the recent super fight at LAX, asserting that even at the age of 57, Tyson must be considered the frontrunner. Huge talks right now in the fighting world because because uh, Jake Paul is fighting Mike Tyson. And and I gotta know, you know, like he's, uh, he's a lot younger, he's half his age, um, and he's training around the clock for the last few years. Like, would, do you think Tyson has a chance? He's, Jake, they're saying, is the favorite. Uh, yeah, if, 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 if Tyson's taking a dive, he's the favorite, but uh, if Tyson hits him, it's over. Regarding the rationale behind it, the Iceman unequivocally expressed his enduring faith in the punching prowess of the former heavyweight champion. Liddell said, The last thing to go is power. Last thing to go is power. If he hits him, it's over. The general consensus among betting platforms varies, with Paul emerging as the favored contender on most of them. His age of just 27 and impressive career record of 9-1, coupled with his recent string of two straightforward victories, undoubtedly tilt the scales in his favor. However, paying heed to Liddell's perspective, he appears to believe that the possibility is utterly non-existent. He said, if you've seen Mike, he still hits. As for any advice he's got for Paul, Chuck made it short and sweet, saying, keep covered up, man. Upon hearing the fight announcement, criticism swiftly encircled the match from all sides. For instance, Dylan Dennis, who fought and lost to Logan Paul, said, you're fighting someone who was born in 1966? Have some shame. UFC great Michael Bisping said, you should be ashamed of yourself. And the biggest joke is, you don't even slightly realize why. Despite his assertions being refuted by combat sports journalists,
journalist Ariel Helwani, Derek Chisora asserted having inside information regarding upcoming plans, a revelation that might leave boxing enthusiasts discontented. Chisora said, I know for a fact they are using 18-ounce gloves and head guards if I'm not mistaken. So we'd be watching a sparring match. When pushed on whether it wouldn't be a real fight, Chisora added, I don't know, man. How old is Jake Paul? A guy who is 24, fighting a guy who's f***ing 56. It's a f***ing joke. Do you think I'm paying to watch that? Only kids will pay to watch that, and parents will give their kids money to watch that. During his appearance on the MMA Hour, Helwani disclosed that while negotiations were ongoing, he received information indicating that headgear would not be part of the equation. Helwani said, They're still working on a few important details based on the conversations I've had. Is it a pro or is it an exhibition? They want pro, but that's up to the Texas Commission. We'll have to wait and see. Wait, I'm told I'm a heavyweight. Rounds? I'm working on on that as well. He added that the fight was expected to be in the heavyweight category and that the number of rounds was still being determined. There's multiple things that come to mind. Number one, it's Mike freaking Tyson against Jake Paul. There's like a 30-year gap between them, so that's interesting. Uh, number two, it's at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Uh, that's like 80,000, that's where the Dallas Cowboys play, for those that don't know. Like, that's a gigantic stadium, one of the biggest stadiums in the world. Furthermore, Helwani stated that he had seen an interview with Derek Chisora, where Chisora mentioned there would be headgear. Helwani said, I saw an interview with Derek Chisora, where he said there would be headgear. I was told there's absolutely no headgear involved. This is going to look like your typical boxing match. Lastly, Helwani questioned whether the fight would be similar to the exhibition match, like Mike Tyson's last fight against Roy Jones in November 2020, or if it would be a standard performance professional heavyweight fight without any special conditions. Helwani added, It's just like an exhibition like Mike's last fight was against Roy Jones in November 2020? Or is it just going to be a normal pro heavyweight fight that has no strings attached in that regard? A few days ago, Derek Chisora, who isn't connected to the fight in any way, claimed, Tyson and Jake Paul fighting in Dallas, Texas, July 20th. What do you think about this announcement? I, I know for a fact they are using 18-ounce uh, gloves and head guards, if I'm not mistaken. No way. They yeah. couldn't. Yeah, I think so. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> where, where are you now? I don't even believe There's no way they're selling those so, tickets. So, so, so we're watching a sparring match. Contrary to popular belief, Jake Paul and his business associate Nakasa Badarian vehemently deny the validity of such claims. Turning to Instagram, Badarian wrote in his story, Unequivocally, there is no headgear for Paul vs. Tyson. Haters are spreading fake news, but it won't stop the tens of millions of views. Shortly after, the troubled prodigy took to his personal Instagram to echo his business associate's narrative. In the meantime, Eddie Hearn, the head of Matchroom Boxing, shared his perspective on the bout. For me, it's really sad because Mike Tyson was one of my idols growing up. Up, and to see him fighting at 57, 58, but I also understand that a lot of people are going to tune in and watch, Hearn told Daily Mail. It's yet to be determined whether Paul will face off against the baddest man on the planet in an exhibition bout or an officially sanctioned boxing match approved by the Texas Boxing Commission. Furthermore, the specifics regarding the rules and finer aspects of the bout are shrouded in uncertainty. Although Helwani dispelled several rumors, numerous inquiries remain unanswered, particularly regarding Tyson's well-being. In the year 2022, footage emerged depicting Tyson strolling with a cane, grappling with the challenges of sciatica. Within a month's time, he appeared in a wheelchair, yet adamantly asserted that he was merely contending with a back issue. While Tyson shares his workout routines openly, many fans express concern for his well-being. Talk sport pundit Spencer Oliver said, I'm scared about it to be honest. You look at the bad health he has been in recently. We've seen him on crutches, and I think the kid from the Disney Channel is going to knock out Mike Tyson. Oliver also shared his difficulty in comprehending the situation, describing it as a a sad day for the sport and questioning the potential damage to Mike Tyson's legacy. He visualized a scenario projecting 20 years into the future where Tyson enters the ring only to face what he believes could be a disappointing outcome, potentially getting knocked out. Oliver said, I just can't get my head around it to be honest. I think it is a sad day for the sport. What damage would that do to Mike Tyson's legacy? We fast forward 20 odd years and he's getting in the ring and I think it is a sad spectacle because he probably gets knocked out. Furthermore, Oliver highlighted the physical condition of the individual. No noting that at 57 years old and not in great health, the situation seemed dire. Oliver added, Have you seen the condition he is in? He is 57 years old and is not in great health. Come on, man. On the other hand, fresh training footage emerged today featuring Mike Tyson relentlessly pummeling the heavy bag in anticipation of his upcoming showdown against Jake Paul.
At 57 years old, Tyson, the former unified heavyweight champion with a record of 50 wins and 6 losses, including 44 knockouts, exhibits astonishing speed. His hand speed surpasses that of celebrated world champions, such as Devin Haney, Gervonta Davis, and Terence Crawford. Nice. Good. How is it that a seasoned fighter like Mike Tyson maintains superior hand speed compared to today's top athletes in the sport? Tyson has been gifted with a rare combination of speed and power that modern heavyweight champions can only dream of possessing. Yet, as Tyson approaches his 60s, the prospect of him stepping back into the ring against a formidable puncher like cruiserweight Jake Paul poses significant risks. Here's a recently leaked training footage of Tyson. Traditional aficionados of the boxing world often overlook Jake's prowess in the ring, but there's no denying his formidable punching power, particularly with his dominant right hand. His ability to deliver knockout blows is evident, capable of dispatching opponents across both the cruiserweight and heavyweight divisions with precision strikes. <laughs> In addition to his seasoned years and lack of recent activity, Mike Tyson has often struggled with maintaining endurance and a sturdy chin throughout his career. This vulnerability has been notably exploited in his losses to opponents such as Kevin McBride, Danny Williams, Evander Holyfield, and James Buster Douglas. Here is how Tyson is training to overcome these issues. You! You! Boom, boom, boom! <laughs> <laughs> Should Iron Mike Tyson emerge victorious against Jake Paul, it opens the door to yet another lucrative opportunity, possibly against a retired boxer. With a plethora of potential opponents in the YouTube sphere, Tyson's future in the ring could be filled with endless possibilities. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tyson discussed his anticipation for the fight, expressing his eagerness to step into the ring with Jake Paul. He acknowledged Paul's significant improvement as a boxer over the years and mentioned that it would be interesting to see the outcome when the will and ambition of a younger fighter meet the experience and skill of a legendary boxer. Tyson said, I'm very much looking forward to stepping into the ring with Jake Paul. He's grown significantly as a boxer over the years, so it will be a lot of fun to see what the will and ambition of a kid can do with the experience and aptitude of a goat. Jake Jake Paul commented on the upcoming fight, stating his intention to defeat Iron Mike and reflecting on his rise in the boxing world. He recalled going viral for knocking out Nate Robinson during Tyson's undercard in his second professional fight. Now, in less than four years, he is preparing to challenge Tyson himself, aiming to test his abilities against one of the sport's most renowned figures. Jake Paul said, It's time to put Iron Mike to sleep. It's crazy to think that in my second pro fight, I went viral for knocking out Nate Robinson on Mike Tyson's undercard. Now, less than four Four years later, I'm stepping up to face Tyson myself to see if I have what it takes to beat one of boxing's most notorious fighters and biggest icons. Paul also shared his ambitions beyond the fight, indicating his goal to become a world champion. He viewed the match against Tyson as an opportunity to prove himself against the greatest heavyweight champion in history, describing it as the fight of a lifetime. He added, My sights are set on becoming a world champion, and now I have a chance to prove myself against the greatest heavyweight champion ever, the baddest man on the planet, and the most dangerous dangerous boxer of all time. This will be the fight of a lifetime. With just three and a half months remaining until the big showdown, both contenders are entrenched in rigorous training regimens. While enjoying a leisurely moment with his girlfriend by the pool, Jake couldn't help but jest at a video showcasing Tyson's workout routine. Here is how he reacted. <laughs> On 
On the other hand, Jake Paul unleashed a blistering response to KSI's critique regarding his forthcoming match against the notably more experienced Mike Tyson. In a recent live broadcast featuring Adam Ross on Kickstream, the problem child seized the opportunity to target his enduring adversary for belittling the importance of his upcoming match against Tyson. He said, You want to know the difference between Mike Tyson and KSI? It's that Mike Tyson will actually fight me. So who's a bitch now? Oh, Mike's this, Mike's that. But Mike signed the contract, you f***ing bitch KSI. Paul pointed out the main difference between Mike Tyson and KSI, emphasizing that Tyson agreed to fight him, thereby questioning KSI's bravery and commitment. He criticized KSI for making derogatory comments about Tyson, despite Tyson agreeing to the fight, calling KSI derogatory names in the process. He added, Say whatever you want, but you also said a year ago that Mike Tyson would beat you, and you wouldn't take the fight because of that. So make up your f***ing mind. You just sound like a cowardly bitch. Furthermore, Paul highlighted KSI's inconsistency, mentioning that KSI had previously admitted Tyson would defeat him and that he would refuse such a fight for that reason. Paul accused KSI of being indecisive and cowardly in his statements and behavior. Notably, during a recent segment on the Impulsive podcast hosted by his business partner Logan Paul, KSI vehemently criticized the decision of the younger Paul sibling to step into the ring with Iron Mike. KSI, also known as JJ, deemed the upcoming match a lose-lose fight for the younger Paul. That's My it, Tyson is 57 years old yeah. like yes in his prime this would have been crazy but now it's like oh this is just sad it's mike tyson anything can happen like what? jake could literally walk out without an ear i mean and the thing is this, this <laughs> you know what i'm saying like bro he's chewed people's body parts yeah, off people, that, he's yeah. the only boxer in the world to be able to to stake that claim yo i've chewed someone's body part <laughs> off in the ring millions and millions everyone's gonna know him as the guy that not down all. <laughs> it, it, Meanwhile, Dana White has recently suggested he's feeling uneasy about the impending boxing showdown between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. In the aftermath of UFC 299, the CEO of the UFC highlighted the notable age difference between the fighters as a pertinent issue preceding the bout. He said, He gets mad when I do this, but Mike's 60. What do you guys think about it? Who gives a shit what I think? It's not my fight. I love Mike Tyson personally as a friend, and he's one of my favorite athletes of all time. White conveyed a sense of prudence, expressing concern about potential putting his friend in an uncomfortable position. White added, Let's see what he can do there, put together in training camp, and come in. I don't like to see guys fighting. A 31-year age difference? You guys know what I think of that stuff. In another interesting update, it looks like Jake Paul has discovered evidence against Logan Paul. Recently, the Maverick asserted on his podcast that Mike Tyson proposed a fight, but Logan declined initially. Now, Jake is scheduled to step into the boxing ring against the former heavyweight champion on July 20th. During a recent stream with Aiden Ross on Kick, the duo discussed the upcoming fight and discussed Disclosed that Jake's elder brother hadn't secured a deal to fight Iron Mike. This clip right here. Oh, this was mentioned on your podcast. Logan said he was offered to fight Mike Tyson and he declined. Yeah, which is which is also not true. Oh, so Logan was not offered to fight Mike Tyson? No. Oh. Because we're the ones that brought the deal to Mike Tyson. Gotcha. So I don't know why he would say that. Like me and most valuable promotions and my partner Nikisa struck a deal with Netflix and then went to other fighters to try to get them involved. Logan Paul wasn't exactly thrilled by the newly announced bout. According to him, he had another tempting offer on the table, a chance to spar with none other than Mike Tyson himself. Jake said, which is also not true, because we're the ones that brought the deal to Mike Tyson, so I don't know why he would say that. Like me, and most valuable promotions, and Nikisa struck a deal with Netflix, so I don't know what he's talking about. Meanwhile, Logan Paul didn't hold back when discussing his brother's upcoming bout. During the episode titled The Maverick, Logan and and his business partner, KSI, delved into various boxing topics, covering everything from Ryan Garcia's prowess to the anticipation surrounding Jake Paul's next match. Logan Paul didn't mince words as he shared his thoughts on the matter. He said, For both Mike and Jake, the bag, I don't know if you can say no. I've been asked, Do you think you could beat Mike Tyson? My answer is yes. I just think he's too old. It's crazy. He's senile. Logan Paul is convinced that both Jake Paul and Mike Tyson have signed up for the upcoming bout purely for the hefty paycheck it promises. For both Mike and Jake, the bag like at what point at what point you can't i don't know if you could say no i said no to fighting mike tyson i'd say no i was i was offered it and you guys I, offered. yeah i was offered it but not on netflix and not for a big ass bag yeah. it was just like a it was just like a, oh this could be a real fight because i've i've been asked before i'm sure you have too do you think you could beat mike tyson and my answer was and will be Yes. Well, yeah. I just think, I what, just think now? He's, yes, I just think he's too old, bro. That's oh, crazy. Oh, God. He's senile. He'd be great hey, for a round. 
Maybe. On the other hand, Robert Smith, the general secretary of the British Boxing Board of Control, joins the chorus of disapproval surrounding the event. His sentiments echo those of numerous figures within the industry who share his disillusionment with the fight's premise. In a recent interview highlighted by Boxing Scene, Robert Smith said, I can't believe it really, to be fair. Who's organizing it? Who's doing the medicals? It's a 50-year-old man against somebody 30 years younger than him. The upcoming match between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul has polarized opinions, with some seeing it as a nostalgic return for Tyson against the new age celebrity boxer Paul, while others view it with skepticism, questioning the integrity and safety of the fight given the age and health concerns surrounding Tyson. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos.